Hey guys, welcome back to another video here. And in this video, I will be mainly helping you guys setting up multi instance. And yeah, before we get started, make sure that you have auto hotkey installed. And if you don't, I'll link some tutorial down below to help you get multi instance working. Anyways, let's get started. So, mainly now we're gonna download two macros. One is necessary for the setup. And then the second one is the main multi multi instance reset script. So first things first, I'll link these two in the description so you can access them. And then now you want to copy the script as so. And then you're gonna press Ctrl C. And then you want to go to the desktop. And then right click. And then you want to click New here. And then you should see an auto hotkey script here. And then click on it. I'll do this setup and then you want to open with your favorite text editor for me it's this and then you want to paste the script in here and now you don't have to configure any of these just hit save and then exit out and then you want to run this once Done. Okay, once it says done, you can close off everything. And then now, for the second script, multi reset RSG, you also want to do the same procedure by copying everything. And so, hit Ctrl C. And you also want to open this with your text editor and then paste the script. And then now we want to scroll all the way up to the script and then we have some configurations that you can configure. And then the first one is instance freezing. So basically what this will do is your instance will freeze to save resources upon loading into the world. So I recommend putting this on true. I'm um, pause on switch. I'm not quite sure what this does, but I leave it on true. Full screen, I leave this on false. Disable TTS. So basically, every time you run the script, and then once it's done doing its thing, it will say ready. So I recommend putting this on false. And then global count attempts, self-explanatory, but I put this on false. And then auto reset, you want to put this on false. The reason for this is that there used to be a rule that you must run a world within five minutes of loading in, but this rule doesn't exist now. So you want to put this on false. Before freeze delay, you want to increase this number if you doesn't join the world. So basically if your instance is stuck in the joining row screen you would want to increase this number and global full screen delay you're gonna increase this if you are using full screen and you have some issues with it restart delay increase if you are missing the instance number txt in your minecraft folder so let me show this real quick so if you can see if I go into my multi MC folder and go to my instances and then instance one and then you can see there there is an instance number.txt here created and in there there will be a one in there. So if you don't have this, you will want to right click and new create a new word file which is this one i have no idea why it's written in chinese but okay and just put one in there and so on and so forth with your instances all right so oops next is your max loops you want to increase this if your macro locks regularly and then obs delay 
which you want to increase this if your scenes is not switching which I'll talk later and now you want to scroll all the way down you don't really want to care about these you want to care about this exit wheel and then for this I personally use Control Z which this symbol represents Control and this symbol represents Z so it's Control Z and then yeah after you're done configuring you want to save and yeah alright so now once you have configured everything you want to activate all of your instances and then you want to go into a world on every single instance because sometimes first world lag would cause some issues with the macro so you want to do this to prevent some of the issues so we we'll just let it load for a while Set up your pie chart if you are doing mapless. Then let's go to the last instance. Okay. So now you've got every instance okay, ready to go. Now what you want to do is you want to bring up your script. then you don't want to ready. wait and then once you're here ready and then you don't want to hit anything okay if you hit anything this instance number on top it will disappear and it will cause some issues while you're doing your OBS so meanwhile if you click something you just have to rerun the script and it's, it will solve the issue now you have to go into OBS and then you have to create three scenes and it actually depends on how much instance you use if I use three I'll just create three so if you have four you have to create four scenes so now I have three so I'll create three scenes and then you want to add three window captures in here and then the settings are Match title, otherwise find windows on off same type. And then you want to click OK. And now you want to organize it in this order. You can copy this order. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to click on instance one. And then from here, you can choose your instance one here, instance two instance 2, instance 3, and then instance 3. It might be sometimes buggy, so you, you want to make sure every instance is correct. There we go. So now everything should work fine. After checking, you want to go to your settings. And then go to the hotkeys. And scroll down to your instance here one two and three and then for first scene you want to sorry first instance you would want to do your numpad one if you don't have a number pad you can go to a search bar and search for virtual keyboard and then you can click numpad one on there so I have a numpad so I can do numpad, numpad, numpad. Okay, so it says two, it says, it says two, it's numpad two, it says three, it's numpad three, so on and so forth. Then after done, click OK. And then now, what you can do is you can click on a button now, and then you can play out the seed. This is the first instance, I messed up a bit earlier. So you can play out the seed, it gets trash, 
you can click your reset key for me it's control z and then it will switch to the second instance and if you can think this is trash control z again and then it will switch to the third instance and then control z you will switch back to the first instance and there we go you basically have multi instance set up and you are happy with that and if, if you like this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel it really helps out a lot and for the next video i'll try to explain to you how to set up the wall since i have the resources now and i've changed to 16 gigabyte ram now so maybe i have the resources to cover this so yeah wish me luck and see you guys